for now. Authorities in the eastern Ukrainian port city of Mariupol say the city has come under fire from anti-government forces. However, the self-proclaimed authorities are denying these accusations. Let's get more now with RT's correspondent in the region, Roman Kozarev, right now. Roman, can you give us any more details? What's known about this? Well, we cannot uh, verify this information at this point, and all we really have are statements uh, from uh, both sides. Uh, uh, we've seen, uh, we have seen video and uh, f photographs on the circulating uh, on the uh, internet showing a uh, fight, smoke, uh, fighting, smoke, uh, smoke and destruction uh, in the city of uh, Mariupol. And uh, city authorities, uh, there, Ukrainian authorities, are now saying that at least uh, ten civilians uh, have been uh, killed and. Uh, the Ukrainian army are saying that it was the anti-government fighters uh, who shot the eastern part of the city of uh, Mariupol. And uh, we have managed to contact a uh, representative of the Ministry of Defense of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, who uh, denied all of those accusations. And uh, uh, we were told by them that um, the anti-government army positions are simply too far away from uh, uh, where that shelling had uh, taken place, at least uh, four 40 uh, kilometers and they uh, don't have artillery that can uh, cover such a range and uh, once again we cannot confirm um, this information uh, right now we'll be following the situation very closely and um, uh, but here in the capital of uh, the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, uh, we've seen uh, main intensification of the fighting uh, since the 9th of uh, January. And uh, uh, the city of Donetsk is actually in a mourning uh, this uh, Saturday after the tragedy that occurred at one of the bus stops that was... Uh, uh, that came under mortar shedding and 15 people uh, have been uh, killed. And uh, meanwhile, the uh, Ukrainian president, Pyotr Poroshenko, um, is is also uh, saying that uh, uh, he is uh, ready to kick in the teeth, and that's a quote to any of the anti-government fighters who uh, uh, violate the ceasefire. All right, Roman, we're also hearing right now that uh, regarding the, uh, the unconfirmed shelling uh, in Mariupol, uh, we're now hearing that OSCE observers have gone to Mariupol. They have got a, a post there. They're at the scene now. We expect a full report later today. In that case, Roman, we'll be checking with you a bit later today as well. Thanks very much for that.